Now you see me, now you don't. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Is It Possible? The Terraria Show, where we pitch together a ridiculous weapon versus a boss, and we simply ask the question, is it possible? Today, my friends, we are pitching together the Mega Shark versus the Moon Lord. This one should be pretty interesting, and it was suggested by a few people, which is awesome. They should be on screen for you guys. But uh, yeah, in terms of the setup we got going here, we have ourselves Shroomite armor with the bullet helmet. We have ourselves all menacing gear. We have the Celestial Shell, Ranger Emblem, Fish Run Wings to be able to move around quickly, the Charm of Myths, and of course the Ankh Shield. These accessories here are sort of backup ones, so should we wind up failing the first time, we can maybe switch out some of our gear with some of these other things. Things. Obviously, these things won't do anything for now, but we could switch them in if we need to. As a backup, we have the Master Ninja Gear, Frostbark Boots, Frozen Turtle Shell, and the Star Veil. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this Mega Shark is unreal. It does 52 range damage, which is actually more than double what the base Mega Shark damage does, which I do believe is 25. So, yes. Anyways, guys, without further ado, I shall bore you no longer. We shall go ahead and we will go... And take down the Moon Lord, hopefully. And we're basically going to answer the question, is it possible? So, let's buff up. Let's do this thing. What kind of stuff can we do today? I have no idea. Oh, man. Okay. Let us see. Okay. We're not doing too bad. About 600 damage per second is not bad at all, in fact. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, when he's done that, I can now go ahead and, like, shoot his eye, I guess. Oh, man, I tell you something. This is going to be a really, really extended fight, isn't it? It's going to be a difficult one. To say the very least, it is going to be a difficult one. Let's go into the minimap so you guys can see the action a little bit better. Obviously, if we do manage to do this, I'm going to be very, very surprised. Okay, here we go. Come on, buddy. Oh, man, he's regening a lot of health, my friends. He really, really is. Okay, so in terms of the side hands... I think using the crystal bullets is actually very much uh, a good idea. So, I'm going to continue doing it. There we go. Alright. Can we, like... Ah! Oh, no, that didn't work very well, did it? The, the Sky Island actually got in my way, sadly. Right, let's regen. And let's continue on with this. I have no idea. Is it actually possible? I have no idea. I've never tried to take down the Moon Lord with such a... With such a low damaging weapon. Okay. Can we, like, avoid his damage this time? Yeah, there we go. He's barely lost any health on his top eye, guys. This is going to be a, a really difficult fight, isn't it? I don't know, man. He may be regening faster than I can damage him. If that is the case, then uh, we, could, we could be in some serious trouble. Okay, here we go. Yeah, look, he seems to be regening a lot faster than he's losing health. Because he keeps on uh, regening his health from, you know, life-sucking me, you know? I don't know, man. Very difficult indeed. I don't know how we'd be able to take down the top eye without just getting hurt a whole bunch. But there we go. The more accurate we are, the better things are going to be. Maybe, just maybe, having... Okay, here we go. Can we, like... Yeah, okay. So I can stop his life regen by sort of just doing this, I guess? Just by shooting his tongue all the time. Okay. Things are getting a bit interesting here. Yeah, there we go. He barely regen that time. Okay, interesting. I seem to be able to dodge his attacks reasonably well. All I've got to do is prevent his tongue from getting me. And then I can actually start doing damage to him. Well, there we go. He's going to open his top eye any second now. There we go. Okay, and let's get above him. There we go. Oh, just about. Oh, jeez. I can't even see him anymore. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's try and weaken his right-hand eye. Ah, uh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I need to destroy your right-hand eye, buddy. It needs to happen. Come on. Come on. Oh, boy. This is where the damage is going to come in. Okay. Not doing bad. Not doing bad. 35,000 health. 35,000 health, guys. We're not doing bad in terms of taking damage, honestly. Not doing bad at all. Okay. He's got about 2,000 health on his right-hand eye. This is going to hurt. Oh, no. I couldn't do anything about that one. If I had a water walking potion, maybe I could have. But, sadly, we don't. So, yes, I didn't actually factor that in. If I'd have known... Oh, there we go. Right, now, we need to focus on the top eye, guys. We need to focus on the top eye entirely. Okay, here we go. 
If we can focus on the top eye, then things might just be okay for us. He's lost about 10k health there, which is okay. Uh, I need to go ahead and stop him from regening, of course. So let's just keep shooting this rather like this. There we go. And he's closed his mouth. And the time has come to shield ourselves if we can. Okay. We really need to not take down his left and right eye. If we do that, then we are in serious, serious trouble. Okay, come on. Just keep killing all of his life regen steely things. Okay, so I just want to be able to see... There we go, a little bit of that. And any second now, he's going to start shooting again. I do actually have myself the UFO. Oh, that was close! Which I actually completely forgot about. I've got the UFO, so I can use that if I so wish. Right. Let's just continue taking down his lifesteal thing. That, like, this is very much an endurance fight. Look at that. I'm starting to use some second buffs. Because, you know, <laughs> we're kind of struggling in that respect. Come on. Come on. 18k. Do you know what? I'm actually starting to think we could maybe do this, you know. There you go. We've just got a bit of health back as well. Like, honestly, I don't think you even need an arena. I honestly don't think you need an arena, per se. Okay, and he's now above. There we go. Come on, boys. 13k, 12k. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. If we can get into the second form and still take him down, I'm going to be really quite surprised, guys. Okay. Uh, life still... Oh, he must have regenerated a whole bunch, actually. Yeah, he did. He did. Freaking jerk. I completely forgot about it. My bad, guys. My bad. That, that <laughs> That's my punishment. Getting hit by his freaking laser like Dr. Evil from Austin Powers, man. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, that actually kind of hurt. Can you, like, not do that ever again, please? That would be super appreciated. Okay, come on, boys. 11k health. No. Oh. Okay. Oh. 9k health. Come on. We're not far away, guys. We're not that far away. <laughs> it's just an endurance fight and a half, isn't it? <laughs> It's ridiculous. It really is. Okay. Maybe I can just do a bunch of damage this way. There we go. Ow. Come on. 6k. Oh, no. We're going to die. We shouldn't have stayed still. We really should not have stayed still at all, man. That was a really bad idea on my part. I can't even see where he is anymore. Oh, no. I should not have stayed still. I think we could do that again. I honestly think we could do that again with our current setup. So I'm going to go and do it. We're going to do it in the form of a time lapse this time, my friends. And uh, yeah, we're just we're just going to do it. Like shield a boof. Just do it. We're just going to do it, friends. All right, let's get on with it. Alrighty guys, I think this might be the time! All I've done is, I've done this completely cheeselessly guys, but there we go! The Moon Lord versus the Mega Shark, it is possible! <laughs> what? And using pre-Moon Lord's gear as well. Oh my word! 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is the definitive answer right there. Is it possible to take down the Moon Lord with a Mega Shark? Yes! <laughs> we failed the first time, but we learned. We adjusted our playstyle, and we took him down second time. You may have noticed that when it came to his uh, second stage where we're taking down this core, I switched to Chlorified Bullets because I feel like I was missing quite a lot with the Crystal Bullets because I was trying to stay as far away from the Moon Lord as possible because those little eye dudes were shooting out those lasers and I wanted to stay as far away from them as possible so I could avoid them. And I did. And it was a very, very good play. So, you know, GG me and all that. <laughs> but guys, the Mega Shark! Who would have expected this was... One of the greatest ranger weapons back in the day before 1.3. And it's still a formidable weapon now. It's amazing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is it possible to take down the moon with the mega shark? Absolutely. Just get yourself some crystal bullets, some chlorophyte bullets, some shroomite armor, and then these, we these accessories here. And bada bing, bada boom. You are good to go, my friends. But on that note, it is going to be time to end this episode. Is it possible? Yes. I can confirm that it is. You saw it here first, guys. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, do be sure to drop a like rating. Head down below the video as well if you do not want to miss out on having a chance of your suggestion being used. Obviously, you know, go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comments area. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content, guys. And that's going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've had a blast recording it. I'm genuinely surprised. The Mega Shark against the Moon Lord. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.